We all live in a digital world. We all need it to be open and safe. We all want to trust and to be trusted. We all despise control and desire freedom. We are all united. Zary Szymonek, uh, journalist of uh, Rzeczpospolita Daily. Uh, good morning, my guests. Dr. Damian Flisak, head of Group Public Affairs, uh, Rainier Axel Springer Polska. Hello. And Mikołaj Małaczyński, chairman of the management board and co-founder of Legim. Good morning. Hello, guys. Uh, taking into consideration the music uh, which you heard at the beginning, uh, I've got a few simple questions as an introduction. Short test, yes or no? Is there anything that uh, artificial intelligence cannot create now? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Yeah, artificial intelligence. Just the beginning. Just the beginning. Will there be anything that AI will not be able to create? Yes or not? Hopefully, yes. For sure, yes. Are artists, people of culture, able to use the new technologies? Yes, no, I don't know. They are learning, so I don't know. I don't know really. I don't know neither. Do artists, people of culture, lose, earn less due to new technologies? Yes, no, or I don't know. I think we are making progress, but still they, they don't earn as much as they could. I would say no, not not yet, at least. And uh, not not the last question. Should cultural goods be universal and free for everyone? I think so. Yes, that's the right point. Don't think so. There are no such thing like a free 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 lunch, you know. And uh, last short question: Whether global rules? on access to cultural works and method of payments uh, for them should be developed. Yes, no, I don't know. Uh, yeah, definitely they should be uh, developed. I don't have an opinion, I don't know. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 crisis can be considered uh, as a period of trial and accelerated development, uh, introduction and application of digital technologies in the cultural and creative sectors. The use of new technologies, such as artificial intelligence or the use of blockchain is now of great importance in promoting access to cultural goods. So guys, at the beginning, where we are when? if we talk about the use of new technologies uh, in the creative uh, industry. What, is, what, what are the present times? Should I start? Yeah. Well, uh, we've, just, we've just heard the, un, the, the finished 10th uh, symphony of Beethoven, which, which was uh, uh, actually not, not finished. So the question to me is whether there are any technical limits whatsoever to uh, artificial intelligence. And I would, said, I, I would say, no, we are still, Quite far away from the peak of the of the technical uh, capabilities of uh, artificial uh, intelligence, but as a matter of fact, there are uh, AI can create any kind of of, of works. Uh, are there uh, any limits? <clears throat> don't think so. I would say even 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 more. Once in 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 a decade, in a in a, in a near future, when we have the uh, quantum uh, uh, technology, quantum plus AI means uh, transferring us humanity in a quite different uh, dim uh, dimension so uh, to my opinion uh, there are no the uh, sky is the sky is the limit i would say okay uh, that's interesting what uh, what you, you just said but uh, ai only mixes uh, existing uh, existing works uh, made by human it uh, it's trained it's uh, well often use, uses uh, neural network, so it's trained over the existing cases, and it can reprodu reproduce only what's already in the database. So uh, uh, definitely, there, there are limits. There are limits made by humans. That's uh, probably very optimistic 
uh, optimistic information. But uh, from my perspective, that's also, um, uh, we, we've seen another um, uh, angle in this discussion. Uh, NFT, uh, technology which represents digital originals, uh, searches for uh, so, so the so-called digital original, so not change version of, of work. The, uh, the one which is uh, presented in the digital form, but uh, never uh, uh, was um, touched by artificial intelligence or uh, changed in a form that uh, the author did not intend. So we've got two, uh, two, two, two forces. The one which uh, uh, uses technology to transform uh, existing works, uh, we, we've just called it AI, and uh, blockchain probably, to store what's unchanged. Which direction to follow? That's the question. Okay, but I've got another question. Yes, may I have why, yeah. why, why yes, come? Of course, yes, of course. At, at bottom, well, this is uh, very interesting. What you what you said at, at the very beginning that AI uh, is only um, is 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 not creating anything. And I would say my answer would be would be yes and no because indeed at the very beginning on each and every AI output there is a human being. I mean there there must be a human who needs to 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 make the code. There is a human who has to train the code. There's a human always who has to prepare the, the appropriate set of data. That's true. And then you pull all of, all of this into the AI. The AI is mixing it up, black boxing it somehow. And that at the beginning you have AI output. And the more sophisticated are the AI uh, algorithms, the more problems we, we, we have with the, with the link, link, with the causality between us, our human input, and the uh, AI human uh, output. So uh, that's why I think that it, it's not, in my opinion, totally true that, that uh, AI cannot create. Of course, uh, AI cannot create with a human soul, but that due to the technical capabilities of the algorithms, they, they are indeed capable of something far more than, 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 than us humans. That's my, that's my, that's my, that's my, um, that's my opinion. So the one and only <clears throat> limit is only human. It's only human. Yeah, engineers. I would say uh, engineers are operator, operators of this machinery of artificial intelligence. So they use the creativity of real human, hum, uh, us, human being, uh, and then they program it. They think, what do, can we uh, well, derive from the existing work? And of course, that's kind of new originality. That's you're, you're, mm -hmm. in this point, you're right. And definitely, uh, I think uh, we are uh, getting some new formulas, new, new versions of symphonies. Of uh, we'll see today uh, new artworks. Sometimes they uh, they are generated uh, in a very random way, and for us, it doesn't represent nothing. Sometimes it's very well. We can say it original. It's new. It has new quality. Uh, so in this case. Uh, uh, let's uh, stick to, 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 to the problem you've just stated. Uh, we think maybe both. <laughs> the, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> that uh, the originality is the key element uh, which we uh, search for, but the formulas which we use uh, are artificial, are programmatically adjusted. So in this case, well, we should define whether it's still human or just a computer. That's the truth. Okay, uh, we've got the general outlook. Uh, but five things uh, about the new technologies in present times in culture uh, and creative uh, sectors. Five things uh, the new technologies helps and five things the new tele technologies don't help. Would you like to start? Well, <clears throat> we just uh, mentioned the just internet. Where is the just internet? Whether we can build one. And I think technologies help us built such a just internet. Uh, talking about NFTs, uh, uh, we can see multiple examples of storing the value in the digital ledger hosted by community. So it's quite just. Community owns database. It's, it, it's governed by community, not by uh, commercial entity. We've seen lots of examples what can uh, uh, commercial governance do to the data protection, to the justness of settlements. 
many other aspects. So there is technology available for organizations. We are, and uh, well, that's the key benefit the future of blockchain can, can bring to the table to artists. It can improve, maybe repair the internet so that it's better. So it's one out of those five uh, topics okay. you just asked. But I think uh, searching for just internet with a use of technology is, is a key point. On the other side, the bad things that the new technologies uh, do? So the existing situation uh, gives too much power to economic uh, uh, powers, to, 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 to corporations, which are gatekeepers, and they, they have the advantage over the creators. Dylan? I will limit myself only to the, to the, to the creative sector, uh, the plus. Uh, uh, much more effective combat against the piracy. I mm -hmm. mean, less copyright infringement, for sure. Second, uh, creators could be remunerated in a more uh, fair way, due thanks to, to to NFT, to blockchain, to the to the to the to the to the, to the fact that that within with the help of new technologies, you can much more easily calculate what is the fair share of the remuneration which needs to be which should go to the to the uh, to the uh, cre creators. Third, third things, and new technologies opens up the uh, a wide range of totally new um, uh, areas of uh, creation, mix ups, mash ups. I mean, uh, the, the most probably this, this, the, the areas are still not even unknown. What is the flip coin? What are the, the shadow? What is the dark side mm -hmm. of, the, of the moon? Same, same thing. I mean, the bad guys are also using AI which means they can also find out the way how to infringe your copyright. Yeah, so this is the, right. the, the classical arms race between the good guys and the bad guys. Uh, but I just, it occurred to me one uh, very, very bad thing. Look, if you, if you will have, because soon we will be overflowed with AI output, there will be plenty number of AI, AI output. So this situation can reduce us humans only to the passive recipients of the cultural goods. Because, you know, if you can have, for I don't know, tens what uh, whatever movie you will you uh, whatever music work you uh, um, you um, you would like to uh, to have whatever books you will have you will have it within the I don't know uh, five uh, five minutes uh, be written by AI. What is the point about uh, to incentivize the human people to still to be creative? You know, and this is very dangerous because no human creators no human culture no human culture means no human no development of of, of the society of the of the hu humanity and i think that this is the very very big risk okay <clears throat> the last question uh, in this part i have to ask about this about money and uh, artists and creator sectors uh, and new technologies uh, do you think that uh, creative people are more often robbed of their reality uh, thanks to the new technology? Well, definitely <clears throat> that's a challenge and uh, we are totally in a different position than we were earlier. I agree uh, that uh, the piracy is uh, <clears throat> already <clears throat> in the decline, I would say, uh, compared to what we had in 2000. Uh, in the beginning of uh, the world, the, the year the 2010 or, or, or earlier. But uh, definitely, uh, we are in a search for uh, much better uh, solutions to uh, settlement of royalties. I like the saying that internet connected people, but it's the blockchain who is going to settle up its books. And uh, maybe uh, uh, we can envision, uh, well, artists as uh, members of a digital society, stakeholders of a uh, well, decentralized autonomous organization. They are all, today, mm -hmm. artists are often members of, uh, of collective rights uh, management associations. They, they get their fair share from, from what they collect. In the future, they could be members of the digital society, digital organization, which represents them and uh, stores everything transparently, transparently in a blockchain. I can envision blockchain not as, as a speculative uh, means to uh, exchange goods and, and especially now, uh, be, 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 before the end of the year, uh, invest uh, uh, on what's uh, on the biggest hype. And well, 
not uh, I envision blockchain as not a place where we can store only stupid memes and value them as uh, for, for millions of dollars. What happened? Uh, but I can imagine this is a transparent technology which makes uh, uh, well uh, programmable, pro programmable um, the license which uh, a creator define itself. I, I can imagine uh, creators joining certain blockchains, certain digital uh, the, the decentralized aut uh, autonomous organizations, just uh, for the sake of search for the operating system for their royalties. They would choose how the, the programmers, AI, can utilize their work in the future based on what's stored in smart, smart contracts. These are the part of the blockchain. So again, uh, today we are searching for, for, for the solution for the just and uh, transparent distribution of, of royalties. Uh, we are in much better situation than we were years ago, but the bright future is right ahead. But artists are still looking for the money. Uh, <laughs> Damian. Uh, I mean, being an artist in a virtual world, in the, in the modern world, means something slightly different than being the all good old school artist. Because in order, because you know, in order to be the first one, I mean, in uh, to to sell your your goods in in a, in a virtual world means that you have to combine not only creative skills but also technician skills, mm -hmm. at least at the at the minimum level. I mean, you can of course you can always have a friends who is an, an informatician and 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 and, and make uh, the token uh, tokens out of your of, of your goods, but but. The way of thinking how to commercialize your 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 goods in the in the in the internet is different, and you probably admit it than than in the good old school old school um, uh, world. I generally think that from this perspective, if you are talking from the whether new technologies brings an opportunities or rather or rather are the risk to the to the to the to the from this uh, um, financial point of point of view, I would say that this is, that there is a huge huge opportunity if you would ask me whether anyone uh, everybody will uh, will 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 benefit from it certainly not certainly not because you know uh, not everybody uh, can uh, sell uh, not everyone can sell they uh, it's or her or, or his goods in the in the in the in the offline world and the same applies to the online world you have to be smart you have to learn about how it how it how it works what is this this NF nft yeah, yeah, you're right. Definitely. What is it about? Okay. There is more and more questions. To the point. Yeah, yeah to the point. So uh, second question, uh, third <laughs> question, and we've got nine minutes, guys. So okay. uh, let's, uh, uh, let's make uh, the, the time uh, on our side. Uh, so let's talk about the future. Uh, we've got uh, AI, we've got Meta, we've got NFT, uh, we've got blockchain. Uh, so what are the opportunities of these technologies? Uh, will they, for example, <coughs> create the world-class stars out of many artists uh, and will earn millions for, for them? And maybe their works will be widely available for, for everyone, or maybe they will invent for a human and make the unfit very famous. I mean, no. I mean, I mean the uh, the invention, like 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 a metaverse. I mean the 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 the, the um, virtual uh, the reality is a, as I as I said is an is an absolutely huge box of opportunities. Look, right now there are uh, there are for example e fashion. I don't know if you've heard about. It. I mean there there, there are there are uh, big luxury labels which are selling. The e boots, e gloves, e e e t shirts, yeah, uh, virtual only costumes virtual, costumes. and it costs much more than the real ones. Is it? Uh, is it something uh, we? <laughs> is it something? Uh, uh, well, I would say no. I would call it normal. Well, it depends. But uh, but um, uh, again, they were the first first mover of on of or, or one of the of the of the first. Why? Because they 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 realized that uh, the way how the virtual functions is, is totally different uh, from what, how the, the real world functions. And coming back to your, to your mm -hmm. question, whether uh, metaverse will uh, make everybody to a, to a star, of course not. I mean, 
it, to be a star, you have to have this something, this, this, this creation soul. You can fool the people once, twice, but after, after this, the people immediately realize that-, oh, that, that Come on, the, the, the internet, <laughs> the social media especially, are full of stupid people which are famous, so come on. Yeah, but uh, it's the Winston, Winston Churchill who said that it's the media who created leaders, yeah? So if, if it's the no. future, <laughs> but if it's, if it's the future for media, if metaverse is going to, to be the new medium where we are going to all sit. Today we are in Warsaw, but we are taking part in the uh, event hosted in Katowice. Uh, and probably people from around the, around the world are joining us in this, yeah, we can say it, in the metaverse. We are not uh, virtually dressed. It's a natural fabric, I would say, uh, but we'll see how, it, how it's, the situation is going to develop. We'll just uh, buy a new dress for the metaverse. We will be avatars, maybe. And who will be the leader? Uh, maybe the one who will be the, the first entrant to this new world. We've seen uh, winners. Or maybe the owner of metaverse. Maybe the owner of the metaverse, but I strongly opt for decentralized autonomous organizations. So all the maybe the hosts of this event, Stowarzyszenie uh, Kreatywna Polska, host uh, their own DAO and maybe own a piece of blockchain for their creators they represent or other uh, well, um, collective right managers too. But uh, but what I would say uh, to the point is, uh, mm -hmm. well, leaders in the metaverse, the, end, the, the first entrants will generate followers. They will, they will create uh, the similar wave what we've seen in Web 2.0, uh, which is um, represented by blockbuster YouTube channels, for instance. So definitely there will be creators like this. Uh, the winners, they will gain loads of money from the, from the very beginning because they will be there, they will understand the rules, maybe help to create those rules. But um, uh, that's us, that's the, such a forum should teach creators how to adapt and uh, how to use the benefit, the, the potential of, of this change. So who are the winners of the future? Who will be the winner, winners of the future? The artists, the creative sector, or the big technologies company? Uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I strongly opt for web, uh, web three uh, paradigm, which gives much more power to artists, to creators, to smaller entities. Uh, me personally, uh, I'm involved in uh, helping libraries to get into the digital world. I can imagine public sector being a member of this metaverse, of this blockchain, decentralized autonomous organization, uh, hold this part of new web three. And if they, uh, help uh, if they uh, uh, help help uh, creators join them, uh, take them as a platform to teach to uh, to to create opportunities. Definitely, it will be much more just than it is now. Uh, big tech definitely winners, <clears throat> but uh, of course, um, all of uh, I mean, uh, we also could be the winner if we understand the mechanism which are behind the virtual reality. Uh, that's my answer. Thank you very much. And so we've got uh, four minutes. So it's time for the summary. Uh, five things that the new technology can help in the future. And this is the first part of uh, your answer. The second part, uh, how to make the internet more fair and uh, make this Mikowai dreams come true. And the first part of your answer, uh, why does the internet need to be regulated? If need. If I, if, if I may, uh, uh, may start because- um, Yes, please. I, I've already mentioned some of the, of the pros and cons again, uh, connected with, with, with the new uh, technologies. I mean, the, the main advantage of the, uh, the new technologies are fair remuneration, uh, anti-piracy, and, and uh, a, a huge box of new possibilities. The flip coin of this is, is also uh, more um, uh, infringements and reducing us humans to the, to the passive creators. But the third point you mentioned is also um, uh, important to, um, to, uh, to em emphasize because, you know, 
Look, after 30 years of internet, we've all realized that internet is not only a place of good. I would say that quite an opposite. And I will mention only one aspect of this, of this, of this, of this huge um, uh, problem. I mean, the B2B, um, uh, B2B uh, um, uh, traffic, business, business to business. Look, currently in the European Union, uh, the European Commission is proceeding a legal act called, um, uh, called, uh, uh, the DMA, D Digital Markets Markets Act, and this legal act tries to prohibit to 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 let's say let's call them a big 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 platforms certain practices. Why? In order to try to to uh, to, to to save to reestablish uh, what we call level level playing field, the rest of the of the of, of the fair um, uh, fair competition uh, rules. Uh, uh, is it late? Very late. Is it too late? Most probably yes. Is it worth trying to re-establish to save the rest of the of the of the fair competition? Definitely yes. So it is good. We, we cannot regulate internet globally. This yes, of course. U, U, UTPN. But we can try and we should try to regulate the internet at least punctually. I mean, uh, trying to fix what was what was what was broken. Go ahead. I like to think <laughs> about internet as a tool. And that's a place for free speech when we can exhibit our right to uh, to, to to for for free speech. And uh, definitely, it's a software-based tool. So th that's true. That uh, what uh, Mark Andresen said ten, ten years ago that software is eating the world. That's why our organizations need to have software guys uh, on top level of this of of their organization just to teach us how to take what's good in this future how to create our place in this future. Uh, definitely, uh, that's a cultural, cultural thing. Our organizations need to adapt culturally for this change. Uh, uh, Silicon Valley shares a lesson how to do it. We should do it startup way. So create MVP, check it, test it, validate it, and then well, follow or kill it. Uh, and then uh, we can find the right place for our artists for what's now and bring it to the future. That's my point. We can take it, uh, we can do it using the tools, means, and the uh, management knowledge we already have uh, and apply it to the future. Uh, in this way, uh, maybe regulation would be very thin. Maybe it's, it's still uh, required in certain cases not to well, cause harm to people. Definitely, that's not what we want internet to do. But uh, if it's too overregulated, definitely it will slow, slow down. There are places in the world like China or US where, where the situation is, uh, well, where the pace of development is much higher. Thank you very much. The last short, very short question, yes or no? Do you afraid that we always will be late to the new technology? I think we are always late because the technology is always ahead. I'm talking about the yeah. regulations. Okay. Yes, and this is right so. Probably yes. Thank you very much. Damian Flisak, Head of Group Public Affairs, Serenia Axel Springer Polska. Mikołaj Marczynski, Chairman of the Management Board and Co-Founder of Legimi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You were watching us thanks to Creative Polish Association.